What's up, YouTube? Back again. Got another video for you guys. Today, we are going to try and move my F600. It's a 63. I guess I've had the truck, I want to say eight years. So I always forget what gear or where reverse is. I'm going to move it off the yard, get it out of the way down there. I kind of want it up here, but I really don't think there's room. So we're going to run down to the trailer. I got the almighty plow truck running with its check engine light and issues and everything else. Got a, well, I got to grab the battery yet and a, an extension cord. I got the air compressor and a screwdriver because I'm going to take that carburetor apart real quick while I'm down there and jiggle with it a little bit. I think it's got some varnish buildup. It kind of runs like shit. So I'm going to do that and I figured why not uh, why not bring you guys with. So I'm going to back up here and grab the dead battery because that's why I needed the jumper cables and uh, go from there, huh? I figured some more out on that 87 was one that we had the other day. God dang fuel pump went out on the SOB. Of all times, right? I'm gonna grab the extension cord and battery quick. All right, check and check. This poor truck has some major issues. Um, it could probably use a tune-up, wouldn't hurt it any. Got a bad connection on the battery. I should probably fix before I go down there. I think. I don't know which one it is. I'll fix it now before we go down there and get stranded. And voila. Just a bad connection on the positive. I gotta replace them, but you know how that goes. I need to do something with the uh, check engine light, and um, if I remember right, it's the uh, oh the map sensor is bad on here. It's only an eight dollar part or some crap like that. I think I got a new one later on here somewhere, but uh, it just doesn't work that way. I blew my power steering line off last year, so this year is kind of windy. Making progress with the shop part. Well, not the shop part. We're gonna get the rollback in the record first. And come summer, spring, summer, somewhere in there, I'm gonna try and go in some more debt and get the shop built. The shop is the cheap part. The shit that goes inside in the concrete and the cement slab, that's what's gonna cost me because I want in floor heat because I have my big wood stove. It's good for up to 4,000 square feet and heating my little house with it. It's not really, it's not using any, enough heat. So I figure why not just put in-floor heat and run it off that. And my door is open. Power steering is pissed. We're making progress here, right? Uh, let's see. I'm going to go in this way. Got to pump a few tires up. Got to pump a few tires up on here. Got to let... Well, maybe I should just put it in there and let it charge it a little bit. That wouldn't be a bad idea. I want to take the carburetor apart and clean it up a little bit. It's, uh... I drive it like once every eight years. Move it around once every couple. So definitely need something. And I forgot my tripod. I should probably go back and get. That sounds like a good idea. I should go back and get that. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to record shit for you guys. Yeah, it's not in here. Okay, let's go get that first. Clutch is going out. 
and doors open. Thought I got it to latch. Apparently not. It only opens when you take right turns. Oh yeah, but I was talking about the row back and tow, tow truck. We are making progress on there. I got a phone appointment or client meeting tomorrow to see if I can get uh, get like a business line of credit for it. I need something to start out with. We're starting from scratch. We do have a tow truck and like I said in the last video, we are going to make that blue and white truck into a tow truck. But I need something to get down and going. I don't need to wait until I do this, wait till I do that thing. So I still am going to buy one, two, or both. I'm still split on buying two rollbacks because we'll have the tow truck but I don't know how long it'll take to do the tow truck so should I just buy one rollback with the stinger or buy a rollback and a wrecker and just save up for the other two I'm not sure which route I should go I don't know what to do so if you guys got an answer to that question or an opinion about it let me know in the comments so I can help me make my mind up all right, I will grab that, and I think that's all I need to grab. Okay, I got the camera holder, tripod, that's the word I'm looking for. God damn it. Fucking door is never gonna latch. Just love driving around when this keeps happening. I don't think I can turn it enough to... Whatever. Alright, back down there. Door's open again. I'm so glad this is a plow truck. Door doesn't know if it wants to identify as open or closed. And that vehicle was just laughing at me because I had to close my door before they went past. to it that way we can jump it because the battery I grabbed is dead I'm gonna warm my hands up I've been pissing around a little bit before I decided to start recording not that you guys missed anything I think I got everything I need All I brought was a screwdriver just in case, uh, well, I brought a flathead and a Phillips because I'm pretty sure that's, that carburetor is going to be a flathead. I'll have a cigarette and then uh, we'll get to getting it. You know what, you're right. It'd be a good idea to just hook the jumper cables up while I warm up. We'll do that. And then I'll warm up. Yeah, 
Okay, I'll change the camera so you guys can actually see what's going on. All right, here is the mighty F600. Got to hook them battery posts up. I got some air in the battery or the air compressor. I got to pump those tires up a little bit. A little bit. Might just pump one up. I just got to move it off the yard. And then I got to get this open quick. If it'll open. There it is. Let's take the top off there and spray some carb cleaner in there. I know it leaks gas. I should have brought some gasket sealer, but and I have no brakes. Actually, I don't even need to worry about the carburetor. It'll start. It just runs like crap. Battery. I'm going to hook this up. There's no place for me to really set the phone while I'm doing this. I'm going to pause it. I accidentally dropped my phone and turned it a whole different direction and stopped the video. So, you didn't miss anything. All I did was uh, hook the battery up, put the jumper cables on, and put air in the tire. There was not a whole lot, but all I gotta do, do is move it, so I'm not really gonna worry about it. I'm gonna let that charge a little bit. And then, uh, we'll see if it'll start. I was going to mess with the carburetor a little bit, but I really don't know if there's time today. It's already, it's already 3 o'clock, so if I don't get this moved, started and moved, then it's just going to waste my fucking day. <clears throat> Let me know in the comments what more... What more can I do? What more do you want to see? I do have to do a revival video on that 68 out there in the yard, or in the field, sorry. But I haven't had time. I do want to do one though, because I've had the truck probably for almost 10 years, and it probably sat 15 or 20 years before I got it. And I think that hood's only been opened up I've only opened it up twice. It's a pain in the ass. It always latched, gets stuck, and all sorts of other shit. And the previous owner didn't do anything with it either. It just had out the cow bastard. It's a 68 F250 automatic, two wheel drive, three quarter ton. I think it's a three quarter ton. But I want to do a revival video on there because I know the motor was free last time we had it open, the hood open, I don't know, six, seven years ago. I just want to see if it'll move. I think that'd be the best part to do. But for now, we'll see if uh, see if we can't get this big old beast here started, so I can waste your guys' time trying to find a reverse because I always forget where it is on here. Got all these big rigs. And I can never remember where reverse is. I think. I'm almost certain it'll start. I think once it's warmed up, it'll be fine. It'll run like garbage. There is no brakes on there. I put a new, uh, new master cylinder on there and then we did well we never bled the brakes after that so obviously it's not going to have brakes so we'll see if we can get it going obviously just to move and so you guys can laugh at me trying to find a reverse for the first 10 minutes All right, been charging a while. Let's see if we can get it to start. It's getting late in the day. 
If it'll start up or set. If it won't, then I'm not wasting my time in a dead end video. Let's see if it'll do anything. We got power, choke. Bottle sticks a lot. And it's already dead. Seriously? We're trying here, but we ain't getting far. Might take some go go juice. charging for a little bit. It is running and I think I forgot to record it. So we're going to idle up a little bit, see if we can find a reverse. Well, we got to go forward first. That should be easy. Let's see what we can figure out. You know in the comments we're starting the LLC the towing would anybody buy shirts anything like that hats then pay to make it if we ain't gonna sell it Smokey, smokey. Got a very high idle. But it runs. We're talking about this, by the way.
the hard part. Finding fucking reverse. Carbon dioxide poisoning. That's how it counts. Holy fuck, I can't breathe in here. I can't breathe in here at all. I don't know if you can see the smoke or not. For some reason, when we hooked the water pump up, we did the bypass that they recommended, and now it just blows the exhaust inside the cab. Not so much fun. All right, back to the plow truck and we'll drive around, get the battery out of there. It's a quick drive around to that. Now with the battery lights on, which means, well, it's just got issues. All right, away we go. And doors open. I'd be glad that I just got that fucking battery. I 
show you how you face the other direction. Have some fun. Be right back. I had to grab that battery. Alright, sorry I didn't waste your time with that. Alright, we got that all done. And we're stuck. Well, that's just amazing. We're stuck in a flat surface. Seriously? Look at the sunset though, isn't that amazing? And we're going. I gotta go talk to the neighbor.